Brotherly love and iman. Let's see a hadith. Anas radiallahu reported, Prophet sallallahu said, No one of you becomes a true believer until he likes for his brother what he likes for himself. This is in Bukhari and Muslim. When an Anas radiallahu an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal, La yuminu ahadukum hatta yuhibbu li aqihi. Like no one of you become a true believer. Hatta until yuhibbu, he loves li aqihi for his aqi brother. Ma yuhibbu li nafsihi. And he like his brother what he likes for himself. Li nafsihi. This is in Muttafuqan alayhi. So what we learn from this, and this is very famous hadith, everybody knows about it. But while implementing it, we give so many excuses to ourselves. You know, because of that and this thing, I was not able to. So here, if we take the literal meaning of that, la yuminun, like you, uh, no one of you become a true believer. Ahadukum until hatta until yuhibbul li aqi ma yuhibbul li nafsihi. So here. You like what you like for yourself. The same thing you're going to like for your brother. Brother, sister. So here literally it means for your blood relation. If you take the meaning of this. So when we talk about blood relation, are we doing this? Many times we give ourselves excuses. No, because I'm earning. It's my haq. Of course it is. But sometimes on a larger level, you know. Somebody is getting married and you have the opportunity to spend on them. Like I'm talking about immediate relatives, whether your brother or sister. Sometimes Allah has given you so much. Like you don't have to think about it also. And we get into the things like which we are not supposed to. And we give ourselves excuse and we don't fulfill that. And many times it happens, especially people, they fulfill the need of the people who are not related to you. But in Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned again and again, it's a reminder, aqrabain, aqrabain, aqrabain. And we keep forgetting it. Because if we are far away from distance, but we are not far from our heart, because it is their haq, it is their right to spend, isn't it? It's not only just right to spend. If we talk about the nafs, are we doing the same thing what we are doing for ourselves? You know, we pamper ourselves so much. We love ourselves. We, we do so many things. And sometimes we do extravagant, you know, israf. And we say, oh, I thought it's going to be useful, but it's not. But sometimes the same thing, it is useful for the other person. And we don't even think about it. And we don't even realize it. Like it can be useful for the other person. Sometimes what happens, you know, if we implement on this hadith, like it's very easy. Think about yourself. When I am pampering myself, I am loving myself. What about my immediate brother and sister? What about my in-laws and their brother? Like, you know, I'm talking about husband's uh, brother and sister. Sometimes they are really needy, really needy. And that time we are not fulfilling that. And that is the time you are uh, answerable. How come like, you know, you are spending like uh, so much for yourself, but you are not spending little bit to the other person. And many times, you know, we give to the people to whom we don't know. Many times in many WhatsApp group or otherwise I have seen people, they ask money. We don't know them. We fulfill the need. That, that's really good. I really appreciate that. But my question, are we fulfilling the need of our immediate family? Are we? Many times it's a big no. So how can we be so selfish like when we are helping others it means just we are showing off in the group just to show like I can give you this much. Don't do that. Showing off that will be, you know, completely wasteful. We have to do just for the sake of Allah. So here, la yuminu, 
no one of you becomes a believer like no one of you becomes a true believer until he likes for his brother what he likes for himself so when we say whatever we like we like the same thing for ourselves and same thing for our brother or sister we are not actually implementing it because you know because of certain characteristics in them we don't like them we started hating them and because of that we ignore them and certain sect of people because they appreciate you they say oh you are so nice they they give you thanks or jazakallah khair and you think oh i have to be good with them no if somebody is bad then also you have to be good especially aqrabain talking about the blood relation immediate family if you are not good with the immediate family for the aqi how come you can do the other things you have to help the community i am not saying you should stop but check yourself when you are putting in the group are you fulfilling the need of the other people of your immediate family if not they are mustahab they are the people who are the rightful give them first so we have to you know allah has given list in quran again and again you can refer to those ayas how the a list of uh, relatives goes on of course we should help the community we should help the uh, like you know people we don't know like you know it talks about the people who are traveling uh, do we know the traveler we don't but we help them isn't it sometimes we are on the airport and somebody wants water and if we have the sealed bottle we give it to them if we have extra thing we give it to them are we doing that yes of course we are doing and in community we are helping each other for the sake of allah but i am saying when you are not helping your own brother and sister because of their certain characteristics and you are helping others is it right check yourself so this thing we have to implement because we want to be a true believer so we going to like the same thing what we like for ourselves the same thing for the other especially you know at the time of marriage or sometimes they are in need especially they, their children education uh, we want our children to get educated what about them sometimes a thing which they collect money for months and months and for you it's a piece of cake you can just give the money and they can have it why not even though if they are not good with you but you are doing for the sake of allah isn't it jazakallah khairan kaseera